friends, it's time for a little update about this place. There's been some developments, some good, some not so good. So, you know, a mixed bag. So if you want to know the details, just keep watching. Hey friends, I, I want to show you something. This is what uh, an allergic reaction to prescription medication can look like. Okay, in my case, it's uh, this medication. So I uh, went for a checkup, blood work came back. It wasn't good. In fact, uh, I, I want to show you. Um, this is my, uh, th these are my test results for uh, my cholesterol. So the green is uh, the safe zone, right? Uh, LDL is the really bad cholesterol. You want to keep it under 100. It's 244 in my case. Um, the good cholesterol is under 35, should be above 39. Okay, this overall cholesterol is high. Uh, yeah, mm, not too good. So my doctor prescribed these. Two days later, I started feeling itchy. Yeah, I won't be using that anymore. Uh, he'll prescribe some other medication. And my health is one of the reasons why I have not been able to uh, really work on uh, YouTube videos. Uh, well, I, you know, I said this wrong. I have been working on them. I just haven't been able to finish and you know to click the upload button with the exception of a video last week so um the other reason is youtube videos take a long time so a one hour job at the repair shop becomes a 12 hour job if i'm also making a video of it on average yeah but you know when the customer picks up the guitar they only pay for one hour and you know I gotta keep the business going. So it's been tough. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, I've been focusing more on turnaround, you know, just doing the work for the customers, in and out, in and out, and that's it. But there's an old Chinese proverb that says, show must go on. So welcome back to Guitar Quackery. Yeah, man, this is what I have to do, uh, you know, to keep the shop going because without the shop there won't be a, a youtube channel and without the youtube channel there won't be any videos to watch so um right now i'm just uh, focused on uh the work and the turnaround time Speaking of the turnaround time, it takes me about an hour to level and crown the frets on average. And that's when I'm not making a YouTube video. Now, the same job when I am making a YouTube video takes longer. One hour becomes 12 hours. But at the end of the job, the customer still pays the same price. So, um, in order to keep the shop afloat, I need to focus on uh, the day-to-day -day work a little more, right? And now a word from our sponsor, Hello Handsome Smooth Facial Cream. You might be suffering from signs of aging. It might show on your face and you might be wondering, is there anything I can do about it? Can I stop it? Can I prevent it? Can I reverse it? The answer is yes. Hello Handsome Smooth Facial Cream is the number one solution for your aging problems. You know, I recently started using Hello Handsome Smooth Facial Cream on my own face and I've started noticing big improvements all over my face. And now, once again, I can finally go out in public confidently. So 
Hello Handsome Smooth Facial Cream is also the solution for you. This is one guitar that I really wanted to include in a project video, but I just uh, can't do it because of a uh, lack of available time. Uh, but at least I can show you a little bit uh, part of the project. Um, I re-glued the bridge last night. I kept, uh, as you can see, the humidifier is running. But still, I don't control the heat overnight, so I just uh, put a, a wet sponge inside the bag and kept the guitar bagged overnight. It's not going to over-humidify it. It's like having a sponge humidifier uh, in a, whatchamacallit, guitar case. So here you can see, this was an interesting project, which is why I wanted to include it. Um, well, it's a bridge that has a, you know, unusual outline. Uh, these are bridge clamps, so now I'm going to remove them. I had to make a, I had to make a clamping call two clamping calls, one on the inside and then this one on the outside. I'm just going to show you quickly. All right, so this is the top clamping call. A little bit of glue squeeze out, uh, you know, ended up... Ah, here you can see it. Uh, so I'm going to clean this out. Up. Uh, this is the clamping call I made. It's a bondo. And I also cut these so that it's a little flexible so that we get a decent pressure at the two ends. Yeah. Uh, there's a, an internal clamping call as well, which I'm removing now. Honestly, I was able to reuse one that I made uh, for a Martin guitar. It just happened to fit. Uh, yeah, a little bit less work this time. And as you can see, I filled this with uh, modeling clay. So here we have a, a, a dental tool and I'm just going to dig it out uh, now. I did this so that the uh, glue doesn't fill the holes. Uh, there are other ways of uh, doing this. You can also use uh, some of these Teflon plugs. I've used them. Uh, I was considering them for this project, but uh, I decided that this would be a better option for this um yeah i could have uh, just cut them to the right length so that they're nice and tight uh the reason why i filled the saddle slot is because uh, uh let me show you so this i would normally take my time to uh remove but now I'm trying to speed it up for the video um, yes yeah, some of it uh, so this saddle slot was cut so low it had some uh, open uh, spots okay that's just the way it was made uh, so I put a, a tape if I can remove it quickly Okay, you see, that's the tape. Uh, well, it's ripping now. And then I uh, I filled modeling clay, okay? Uh, just to hold the tape down. That's it, so uh, now, uh, yeah, I kept the old strings just for now uh, because uh, 
I want to do as much work as possible using the old strengths so that I don't fatigue the new strengths. Um, yeah, just to perhaps save uh, an extra pack of strengths. Otherwise, I would use uh, sacrificial strengths for, you know, part of the work. I would just use some uh, whatever cheapest pack of strengths as sacrificial strengths. But uh, I'm using, in this case, uh, the old strengths. One of them broke. Two of them broke. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put two new sacrificial strengths. But yeah, so I just need to clean up a little bit the glue squeeze out that was trapped between uh, between the uh, top clamping call and the bridge itself. Uh, there's no squeeze out left between uh, the bridge and the soundboard. Obviously, I cleaned that up. And uh, yeah, this is just one example of a really interesting project that I, I couldn't really uh, include in a full repair video uh, because the guitar has been here for a while and I was sick. I had that allergic reaction and the customer was really nice. I communicated. I'm sure you're watching. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also need to do a level crown and polish on the guitar, a full setup, obviously. I can remember maybe a little bit of work on the nut. Well, yeah, because I'm doing a level crown polish. Yeah, so I looked much better in that video that you just saw me. Uh, uh, that was recorded on March 21st. Today is uh, March 30th. I look even better. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't look that good, you know, generally speaking, but you know what I mean, right? Just better than I used to uh, look. Um, I looked so different, my phone facial recognition uh, would not recognize me, so I had to type in my code every time to, uh, so let me show you. Uh, oh, so, oh, hold on. Uh, guitar Quackery. Yeah, uh, yeah, same number. Yeah, it's silenced, that's why. Yeah, okay, thanks for noticing. Okay, bye. Uh, yeah, guys, I have I have a, a desk phone and, you know, a portable one because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. Uh, anyway, so I want to show you, uh, well, this is what I looked like at the beginning of March and, you know, uh, kind of really bad. Uh, like I said, even my phone wouldn't recognize my face uh, here. Uh, not too good, right? If you can see that. So that was one challenge. Um, the other challenge is, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's some good news and some not so good. It's not really bad news. It's just that I'm... Uh, struggling to keep the show on the road because it takes time to make all these videos. So I'm trying to find a balance. I do want to make videos for you guys, but I need to, you know, take care of my customers. So the guitar, the acoustic guitar, Dean guitar, is um, a guitar that I really wanted to include from beginning to end, but I couldn't. So now I'll show you a little bit more of it and then we'll talk more about the, you know, business and all that. I'm still cleaning up the bridge. Just want to give you a little glimpse of uh, what I'm doing. Uh, here, there's some chunk that came out of, uh, well, you know, modeling clay and a little bit of glue squeeze out that I really should have cleaned up uh, while the glue was still wet. I'm using a variety of tools, uh, dental tools. Um, this thing, which is plastic, which, you know, I can use freely. Uh, I'm using a, a reamer to pull out some of the, uh, you know, modeling clay from here. Um, this is useful as well, sometimes for little detail work. And here I'm using um, uh, a little chisel exacto blade. So, uh, uh, why don't I uh, show you here? 
So we are zoomed in on a, a little uh, small squeeze out piece. And here I'm just uh, wiggling, you know, just to, to kind of cut underneath and remove it like that. So so that's, that's that. Um, and in here you can see um, I still need to clean up this hole here. This I'm just going to I'm just going to use a drill bit. Um, so so there's still some modeling clay. This is for the uh, transducer, uh, the wire for the you know pickup piezoelectric pickup that goes under the saddle. Um, if I move over to uh, here, these holes, you can see clearly uh, there's still some modeling clay inside. So um, here's the challenge. So the, uh, the pins are conical uh, and the reamer is conical, but the holes are only conical through the bridge, uh, but they are straight through the bridge plate and through the soundboard. That's just how they make guitars. So I actually need to use a combination of the right size drill bit uh, to clean up the soundboard and bridge plate part. And I need to use a reamer to clean up uh, the, the, the part through the actual bridge. That's the job. Oh, and uh, here you can see that uh, the uh, the bottom of the saddle slot was in fact ripped here. So this is why I uh, put modeling clay and uh, a piece of tape and modeling clay. Uh, the part here was um, actually very thin, it's like veneer thickness. So uh, see, this is glue squeeze out, which I'm gonna have to remove. Why don't I try with this? Yeah, so definitely we don't, we don't wanna keep that. And yeah, there's just a tiny little bit left. There we go, we remove this. That's glue, okay? And now we're looking at the actual uh, soundboard right there. Okay, so I can uh, throw a little bit more light onto this. That's the soundboard. Okay. Just gonna keep doing that, and then can do a full level crown and polish on the guitar, and set up. There's one more uh, part of this uh, bridge we glue business that I want to show you. It's interesting, but you know it's coming up. First, I want to talk about uh, this, and this is well, this. <laughs> so it's about uh, how you can help this channel grow. Uh, it's very easy. The easiest way for you to help this channel grow is simply to click that share button. That's it. Because the more people know about this channel, the more viewing hours I get, and the more viewing hours I get, the more incentive I will have to make these videos more frequently. Not that I wouldn't want to make these videos anyway, but, you know, if no one's watching, well, but if more people are watching, then yeah. yeah. So that's all I wanted to say for now. And now let me show you the last part of this uh, bridge reglue business. I really want to show you this one part because it's uh, very satisfying. Uh, again, uh, just a little bit of a glue squeeze out that I did not remove completely. Uh, so now with the chisel, um, I just go like this 
and look look at that okay so okay uh, obviously I need to make sure that I don't uh, push in the wrong direction we don't want to start a bridge lift um, but I just thought this was a pretty neat uh, microscopic view of uh, the squeeze out removal I've actually been planning to make this announcement video for a while and initially it was going to be about something else and then I got sick so I had to include it um, this is my old watch uh, it's a guitar Santa watch it's got a guitar Santa logo it was a gift from a, a friend who's a guitar center repair tech uh, now I got this uh, this watch it's a, an Apple watch and you, you see what time it is right uh, so you will see me um, wearing the old watch on this segment uh, which was recorded uh, on the evening when I got this watch and interestingly that was the first day back um, at work I was feeling much better uh, and on my way home I got into a, a cycling accident so I almost broke my hip and then uh, I didn't break my hip but then I went to the Apple store and bought this watch limping so uh, yeah I had quite a quite a a few days all right so let me show you this uh, base I was working on what I'm trying to do is to uh, find a good balance between the work that must be done for customers and how much of that work ends up on YouTube I'm actually doing something interesting here uh, why don't I show you this is a, a typical P base um, issue um, the distance between this saddle and the back of the bridge plate is too short so this part of the string rides over the saddle and if I um, if I show you on this side here you can see that uh, the string should be further away from the tuning post so that the thick part of the string does not wrap around the tuning post that can actually uh, break the string so I'm gonna remove the string and install an extendo extend a hack <laughs> I call it an extendo you should check out uh, my other video on uh, improving uh, the intonation on the P bass. Well, that one actually uses a, a really uh, thick string that's tuned down to G. I'll put a link. So here I'm. Um, Okay, installing this extendo. Now I can show you again. So in this case, this is just uh, um, uh, what is it called? It's at the tip of my tongue. It's for the Floyd Rose system. It's a it's a bushing, yeah, for the post for the Florida Rose and now if we look at the string here uh, we have a better situation so a little bit of this is going to wrap around the tuning post okay so um, as I continue to work why don't we talk about YouTube yeah YouTube uh, but like I said I was gonna make this announcement video about something else initially um, I was gonna be about some changes to this channel uh, some good changes I want to do some exclusive content videos for 
uh, my Patreon supporters. Uh, I only have a few right now, but obviously that'll grow. I hope. So the plan is to do at least once a month an exclusive content video with all the details that you can eat and then um, also do a shorter version of that video for the general public on YouTube. Um, so that would be a way to help this channel grow because some, some of you would have uh, the exclusive opportunity to support this work on Patreon and have access to some exclusive content videos uh, which would have more technical details about you know uh, all this quackery that I do at the shop uh, yeah so let me know what you think you know you can just type in the comments and I'll read and reply um, okay so now let's go back to that Dean guitar because uh, I did do some more work on it. Some fret work with a 14 inch radius beam. Yeah? You wanna try? Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Like that, like that. By the way, you're on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on. I don't care. It's not my guitar. It's a customer's guitar. Yeah. Just be careful. Hey, hey. Hey, no, don't touch it. No. You've seen Spinal Tap, right? <laughs> You've seen Spinal Tap? Yeah. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't breathe. Don't even look it. Don't fly it. No. Yeah. Okay. Who's moving the camera? It's moving, right? Look. No, I gotta come here. Now you're in. Right? So. Come on, do it. No, no, no. That was Dr. Sergio, uh, guitar player, instructor, musical director, all of the above, and more. Right? Oh, what time is it? Oh, look at that. It's past 2 a.m. Can you see that? And I'm still making this video. Yeah, where's my coffee? Oh, speaking of coffee, you know there's a link below that you can click that says buy me a coffee. This way I can stay up at night editing YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so as I said, I'm gonna try to um, make these exclusive content videos for Patreon for those of you who want to join uh, you don't have to I'm saying there's gonna be an option uh, yeah that's about it now I'm still and you know and, and this is just recording now as we speak uh, I'm still need to edit and it's late not sure how much longer I'll be able to stay up. Uh, I got a, you know, a lot of work to do tomorrow at the shop. Yeah, finish a project that's been dragging for over a year. Mm. A seven string uh, Floyd Rose conversion. Yeah, that video is gonna be posted on Patreon. <laughs> And you know, uh, a partial video on on YouTube for for the general public. All right. Thank you. I'll see you soon.